So in this video I'm going to try to do something different. I'm going to take my Legion Go and I'm going to replace it with my desktop computer. And I want to see if I can use the Legion Go as a desktop computer replacement. But I'm going to do a lot of things because it's become very clear that the Legion Go can actually become a desktop replacement. So what we're going to do is we test a little bit of video editing, not too much just because I don't edit like a pro. So, you know, I'm going to just test it as a simple one. So we're going to install Filmora 13. And we're going to do some basic editing, like cut, add some transitions there, and slowly it becomes really obvious that the Legion Go can actually do all of this stuff. You know, you can edit a video in 4K and then you can export it. Yes, the exportion is not the best time, but then you can still export it. And you can also do some smart AI things that, smart, that Filmora has. For example, Filmora has this thing that it will cut you, it will cut like a smart cutout, so it will, it will take you out of the frame in the video. And how we can see here, that you can still do it, but it's a little bit slower compared to my computer. Now, my desktop computer does it immediately, while Filmora does take a little bit to do it, but eventually it does it. So it becomes really obvious that it's, it's powerful enough to actually do all this task. The main problem that I have a little bit with the Legion Go is that because of there's no extra fans or extra uh, heat sink so the, the heat can come out, the fans are going to start pretty early, literally pretty early. And it's going to make a lot of noise in the room compared to a desktop computer. But other than that, you're completely fine. The other problem that I have was when I connected my monitor to the Legion Go, for some reason the external monitor doesn't want to see more than 60 Hz. I did try to go on the internet to search for a fix for this one. I tried changing the cable even though I'm using the same cable that I was using for my computer. I tried, I tried changing the ports, looks like some people are saying that the bottom port is better than the top port. My monitor, which is a 240 Hz, cannot go past 60 Hz. So I don't understand what was the deal there. Maybe it's a problem, maybe it's a bug. I'm going to update you guys if they're going to fix this issue. But now, because we can do all of this stuff, you know, we can do video editing, we can watch some YouTube in 4K without any problems, and we can watch a movie in 4K without any problems. Now let's see if the games are actually running well on an external display. And I'm happy to inform you that yes, most of the games they will run pretty well. I only tried two games, which is Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z and The Crew 2. And I'm, I can tell you right now, they both work perfectly. Now in Dragon Ball, for example, I can use everything in max, but in The Crew 2, I have to use everything on low. Maximum quality, well, maximum display resolution, which is 1040p but everything on low. Other than that, the game works perfectly. This little device over here is perfect to replace your desktop computer, especially if you're not doing too many things with your computer. I mean, all you need is an adapter, mouse and a keyboard, you plug it in, and it becomes the perfect desktop for you. If you can go along the, the noise that the fans are going to make, keep in mind it's going to be a really, really annoying noise but then you can also put the device in power saving mode if you're not going to use for gaming and then like this you can use it as a perfect computer and you get the dual screen because technically it's the external monitor and it's the display from the legion go so you get a dual screen setup just like this and not to forget that the legion go actually has a touch screen so that screen it's actually a touch screen that you can control your windows and your task you know doing things like for example in word and stuff like this for school is perfect so this thing can actually become a laptop for school if you want it all you need again is an adapter mouse and keyboard and then your console becomes a computer so you can do your homework now in my opinion will i buy this rather than a desktop pc depends depending what you want to do with that but for some normal browsing you know some light video editing and photo editing i did have a photoshop editing but for some reason the phone that i'm recording ran out of battery in the middle of the recording so that one didn't didn't save but i can tell you right now that photoshop was perfectly including the generate ai picture works perfectly it's a little bit slow don't get me wrong rather than my normal computer but it still works so all the tasks that you want to do with this device they will work properly this device can be your computer your laptop your handheld your console and I'm, I'm i'm pretty surprised about the quality so yeah in, in my opinion if you're searching for a laptop but or a desktop and you also want to buy a console 
just by the Legion Go, it will be perfect for you. All you need is just an extra adapter so you can carry with you. Because keep in mind, you only have two ports, one on the bottom, one at the top, and they're both USB-C. So you will need an adapter, USB-C dongle to more, more, more ports. Now, do keep in mind that that USB adapter that you're going to use, you need a USB-C so you can charge it. And then you need a minimum of two extra ports so you can plug your mouse and keyboard. The bottom port, you're going to lose it because the moment you, the console will stay like this, you're going to lose the port. So the, there's nothing you can do with it. To be fair, it's kind of useless at this point. But if you really want to use it, the Legion Go is the perfect desktop you can buy. But if you want to see how you can get more storage without needing any USB ports, just click here. Or if you want to see another video that you two think that you will like, then click here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next one.